That is absolutely crazy. That is probably one of the best puzzles I solved in a while. Hey there! Today I will be solving this amazing key box 2 puzzle. It is a sequential discovery puzzle. That means that I will find all tools necessary to solve the puzzle within the puzzle. Usually such puzzles are very interesting to solve. If you never tried to solve this puzzle before, I highly recommend you to buy it, since this puzzle is really amazing. I will put a link in the video description as always. And if you want just to see my attempt to solve this amazing puzzle, keep watching the video. Now let's try to figure out the way how to solve the puzzle. There is a lot going on here. There is some kind of a button here. There are wheels with numbers on this side. There are two. I have no idea what are those levers or buttons. There are three kind of buttons, but I don't think that I can push on them. There is some kind of a door here, another door here. There is opening here. Oh, there is a lot going on here. Oh, there is something interesting on the back side, on the bottom. A lot of small holes and two circles with holes and arrows. Okay, I can see that I can open the top part. What? I can open it just a little bit. It doesn't go all the way just a little. Oh, okay, but now I can remove this part yellow. Okay, that's done. Oh, almost lost a piece. There are two circles. Oh, they are very similar to something that I saw on the bottom. But these have three and three, but these have only two holes. So it, it doesn't look like I can put them on top. Okay, doesn't matter. I'll put them aside now. Let's see what else I can find here. Nothing here. The numbers, I think that I have to figure out the numbers from somewhere. Oh, this part is sliding. Okay. And there is, oh, there is a yellow piece inside. Okay, now it is slided out here. It has number 21 on it. Oh, and I can remove this part. Always keep playing, it says. Okay, I don't think that I have to reuse this part. There are a couple of parts sticking out here. One has a cross shape. Another is kind of rectangle. Okay, maybe I can remove this part. It is actually moving, but I don't think that I can remove this part. Okay. Yeah, maybe I have to figure out something with these parts. Let's see. There are a lot of holes here, and each of these parts have a different orientation of parts. So maybe I have to find the correct position for each one of them. Probably this one will go here. Yeah, this one fits nicely. What about this one? I uh, think that I can try to fit it here. Okay, now it shows me arrows. Probably I can rotate these parts, but I can't do it with fingers. Maybe I have to find some kind of a tool. Oh, ooh, I think I saw some kind of a tool here. This one, maybe I can remove this part. Yeah, I can unscrew it. And it looks exactly like a tool that I need. If I can put it here. Yeah, I can rotate these parts. Okay, so now I have a, an idea how to move forward. So this goes here. This one goes here. And I have to put these two parts in such a way that they will be mirrors of these yellow circles. So this goes uh, probably like right here. And this one goes somewhere here. What's next? Nothing really happened. Oh, that's what happened. I can remove this part. Oh, and some other parts dropped out. Okay, let's see. Oh, there is another compartment here. There is another small compartment in this one. So it is a big one and a small one, but there is nothing in a small one. Maybe when I will be able to move this part, something will drop down and I can remove it. That's just an idea. Okay, let's see what we can do with these parts. One has three, another has two notches. Okay, 
And I guess I can put them right here. This is three, this is two. And it shows me number two inside. Oh, okay. That is interesting. What if I change places of parts? Like this is six. <gasps> oh, wait a second. Two, six, and maybe, maybe I can do some other numbers. Like I can put two and six right here, but which one will be where? I have no idea. And I need a third number. So this looks like, oh, there is, wait a second. Did, how did I miss it? So it is two, six, and three. But what is the sequence? How am I supposed to put them? Okay, looks like I have to look for other numbers, but that was fun. What, wait a second, what if I can, what if I have to look from this side and two becomes five, maybe. <laughs> Okay, that's five. And this is five. Oh yeah, there, there are three small notches here. So I guess I have to look from this side. So it is five like this. Oh, three go here. Okay, so let's see again. This is number three and it goes for two okay and what's the next one? <gasps> oh oh wait a second what if it is number nine for three <laughs> okay it is five three and nine Ooh, done okay let's see there is a small piece here it looks like a part oh it, it looks like a tool okay but what i have to do with this tool it is kind of a key oh wait a second i didn't notice this part there is something on this small lid maybe no i can't put this part inside maybe if I unscrew this one since it's a little bit bigger okay I can put this one in but why what kind of a puzzle is that I have no idea what to do with this part oh but it it can easily slide inside wait a second maybe I don't have to use it with this yellow tool maybe I have to stick it inside right here it doesn't feel like it goes inside but like that it goes inside quite nicely but nothing oh something happened i was able to open this part there is a symbol it looks like an eye oh okay there is a lot going on here but what's next what is the next move oh there are numbers here again 11 5 and well, and two. Wait a second. Can I remove this part? No, I don't think so. It kind of moves, but I don't think that I can remove it. And I'm afraid to break the puzzle. Maybe this part can be removed now? No. And what do I have to do with these yellow buttons? There are squares, circles, and triangles there. And there are five circles four squares and three triangles but why i have this tool i have no idea why i need it maybe i just have to put it inside and push something with it like this one is screwed in no it doesn't fit inside okay this part is the most difficult one i guess i have no idea what to do with it and i have no idea what these things mean there are five circles, four squares, and three triangles. That is 12. Here is five, two, and 11. What are these numbers? Wait a second, I haven't noticed. 
but there is something moving here i was trying to find something in these holes but actually there is something where the, there is an ice you can see there is a small yellow piece but it kind of slides very quickly one side to another i have to do it quite slow so it is square number one three triangles and seven circles but what does it mean oh and now for some reason these parts are moving i have no idea how that happens but let's try to figure out so we have eight so it, there are four sliders each has four groups of symbols and i guess i have to find the correct sequence in this window like this goes okay there are i have to write down these numbers or just remember them one square four triangles and seven circles and there are numbers 11 5 and 2 here and i still have no idea what to do with this part even though i found that it goes inside i don't think that it unlocks anything one square we have one square one circle one square oh i have no idea so probably if i find the correct combination i will be able either to open this part or maybe to remove this lever i have no idea what will be the next step here oh my god numbers i think that i got something so we have one four and seven one is square seven is circle so and we have here 11 5 and 2 so 11 can be a circle and a square that's 11 5 can be a circle and a triangle and 2 can be two circles oh that is probably correct let's try this goes here this goes here what what to do what to do maybe i have to remove this part no that wasn't correct did i miss something let's see the numbers again oh two squares circle and triangle that's 11. that is five and two squares oh done <gasps> okay oh and now i can see a bigger hole where i can probably stick this part let's try to put it on the key okay now it fits but barely fits and then there is another yellow part that i can probably move a little bit okay it goes in Yeah, but what's next? Oh, and I'm rotating that yellow piece. But where I have to rotate it? Oh, maybe maybe this part is important now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, finally, I found why I have to use this little yellow piece. So I still have to rotate that part until it will be facing the correct orientation. Like so, I guess. Let's try yeah looks good what's next what do i have to open now remove this part open the lid what's next uh, i don't know oh ooh. i think that now this part is moving okay this button has two options one is going like a halfway and then you can push this lead but if you put it all the way in this part starts moving oh <laughs> there is a tiny door inside and i didn't notice it until now and there is a small token inside it's not a coin it's just a square token that shows letter k and that was the solution oh my god i just had to take a look inside to find 
how to solve the puzzle. Oh, that is absolutely crazy. That is probably one of the best puzzles I solved in a while. I am truly impressed with this puzzle. It is awesome. I think that the last puzzle that gave me such a great impression was the Albus, which I solved a while ago on my channel. Also amazing puzzle. Keybox 2 has a lot of tools within the box and that is exactly why sequential discovery puzzles are so interesting. You find some small details and you have to figure out how to use them in order to move forward in solving the puzzle. So great puzzle, highly recommend you to buy it. Link will be in the video description as always. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Now I have to assemble everything back together. This will be quite tricky.